Hello, this is Chris. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, my pair of bebop problems and solutions. Um, based on the forums that I read, many of you have these very same problems. And, uh, but all of you, I believe, also love this drum. I love this drum. Um, you can fly with uh, the phone, uh, the controller, or both. I, re I recommend using both, but uh, I really like the fact that you can just run outside real quick and uh, uh, and fly with your phone. Um, some other drums you can't uh, really do that. You need the remote. Um, with the controller, with the Sky controller, you can move the lens on the parrot. And um, that was one reason why I got the Phantom 3 standard because it had a gimbal and you can move the camera around. If you're just using the phone and the parrot, then you cannot uh, move the lens that I know of. Okay, I couldn't find that. But I like the fact that you can just easily do it with your trigger finger and move um, the camera around. Um, the other cool feature is that with the remote you can go two kilometers. I saw it in a bunch of videos and they got they reached the distance but they did have uh, problems coming back um, but most of the videos that I saw they, they, they landed in a safe spot and they didn't lose their, their uh, parrot. Um, so the number one thing I couldn't do was calibrate the compass. I would click on calibrate down here, it wouldn't do anything. I would click uh, on the settings, go to the position, and then it's like in the middle somewhere, calibrate the compass uh, or the sensors, and, and, and it wasn't working. Um, it would work on my old one, right? My old parrot that I crashed and glued back together. Um, but, uh, yeah, not my new one. Uh, the other thing was, uh, I, I would connect the Sky Controller first, go into the Wi-Fi, and, and, and click on it, and blah blah blah. Uh, I'd come back to the, the app, and I would still have this red dot. And then I would have the, my pair of Bebop, and it would say, connect, or forget, or whatever. Still, it would, it would just be thinking. So what did I do? The very next thing I did was I uh, downloaded the update. To the firmware, uh, put it on a USB thumb drive, and uh, connected it. Well, I can't speak. I connected it here, and then uh, got an HDMI cable and connected it to a monitor. Put a battery in it and started her up. Bam! Uh, well, not bam. Probably a minute later or so, it went through its little process. It, it recognized the firmware and. Um, yeah, don't change the name of it when you uh, put it on your uh, thing. Just keep everything original and it should work. Um, and then I was able to fly inside. No problem. I, I could earlier, obviously you saw in the, the unboxing, I could fly it with just the phone. Now I could fly it with the, the controller inside. So that's, that's cool. Now I don't know if... Uh, the other functions would uh, work like the return to home. I don't know. I don't want to test that because I've already had problems with other drones with that, without calibrating the compass. But maybe the signal is just like so much better on the Sky Controller and it would do it. But I'm not going to take any risks because I've already crashed a couple. So um, I think this was the next day. I went outside. And uh, finally, I could see the, the 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 video from the Bebop and uh, see that the Sky Controller was connected. So boom, that's cool. But I tried to calibrate it, and I I still couldn't do it. I think I was just packing up and going home. But I, I it was gonna be a pretty cool day. It wasn't gonna be too much sun, but uh, I wanted to you know get a picture of the lake and a uh, video of the lake. I mean, and blah blah blah. So. What worked? What was the number one solution to all of this mess? 